an African samurai. During the age of discovery, some Europeans came to Japan at the time when all the states were at war. They had some African people with them. In February of 1581, Alessandro Varignano, the Jesuit visitor, met Oda Nobunaga, the man of power in those days in Japan. At that time, Varignano had an African man with him. According to the chronicle of Oda Nobunaga, the African man was about 26 years old, came from Mozambique, and was 10 times stronger than a normal man. At first, Nobunaga thought that he was painted with black ink and didn't believe his skin color was natural. So he had his subordinate wash the man's body. His skin color didn't change and Nobunaga was surprised. He liked this man and asked Valignano to give the man to him. Nobunaga named him Yasuke, gave him the status of samurai. And allowed him to wear two swords, which were a symbol of being a samurai. A powerful samurai, Matsudaira Iyatada, wrote more details in his diary when Yasuke came to his state with Nobunaga in April 1582. Yasuke was about 150 centimeters in height. It appears that Nobunaga gave him a salary as a vassal. In the same year, At the dawn of the 2nd of June, Nobunaga was attacked by Akechi Mitsuhide, one of his chief retainers. At the place where this occurred, Honnoji Temple, a lot of imported gunpowder materials have been stored, so a huge fire flared up. At that time, Yasuke was also there. Nobunaga told the women, children, and Yasuke to escape. Then Yasuke ran Nobunaga's first son in Nijojo and reported Nobunaga's death to him. He then fought with other samurai against Akechi's soldiers. However, he was soon caught. The soldier who had caught him asked Akechi what to do with him. And Akechi replied, He is not Japanese, so no need for him to be killed following our custom. Take him to the church. Yasuke was taken to the church in Kyoto, but no one knows anything about what happened to him after that. <laughs>